Third time waking up. And I think it's the final one. I think it's the final one. Fun fact about my apartment is that I have to turn the heater off if I want hot water in my shower. Every morning for the last 60 days, today is day 60, I've been doing a one hour meditation and I haven't been focusing on my breath or any of that nonsense. I've just been sitting with my eyes closed and letting my thoughts be there. Uh, after that, I usually jump into an hour of writing and I find that after I do those two things, then pretty much anything else can go wrong for the rest of the day and I'll still feel pretty good about my day. I also take two of these magnesium, let's see if you can even read it, um, magnesium L308, uh, support quality of sleep and cognitive function. And it's not one of those like magic pills, right? It's literally just a supplement, magnesium, but make sure it's the L308. And it forces you to drink water first thing in the morning. All right, just finished writing. Um, so anything can go wrong now and my day will still be good. My friend Ricky is coming over in a couple hours and we're gonna go play tennis for the first time in Years. What's up, puppy? What's up, puppy? What is your dear? Hmm. <sighs> Score is, uh, I'm up one match. Or wait, one set. Ricky's not having it. Just got home, first time playing in over a year. The last time that I played tennis was actually on a date. Uh, and she, she was much better. But man, I had not had that much fun exercising in probably just as much, you know. Yeah, about to make some dinner and then see what else, see what else is up with the day. Open day. Uh, maybe get some reading done and take a shower. Fucking take a shower, man. That's that's what I'm looking forward to the most. All right.
I just sold a jacket that I bought fucking three years ago and never used, maybe a couple times. Poshmark, if you don't know what it is, and you have a lot of clothes that you don't like to use or that you don't ever use, you can make a few extra dollars there. So yeah, heading to the post office, and that is my outing for the day. By the way, today is now Tuesday, January 19th. <laughs> uh, pretty crazy to me that we're all just pretending there's not people with no homes camping uh, next to the roads. And now for the fun part of the day going grocery shopping. Real happy that they brought these baskets back. Sign of progress, maybe? Uh, parts. favorite part of going to the grocery store is taking my mask off. <laughs> I'm interviewing someone for the podcast tomorrow and I feel like it's a little more professional if I shave off. Um, also, I never was taught how to shave by my father. So I still don't really know that I know how to shave. I just kind of wing it and try not to cut myself. See? Cut myself quite a lot, didn't I? So I just found out that <clears throat> tomorrow morning is Biden's inauguration. Yeah, crazy world, the things you find out. Um, but I've had a very good last few days. I use this app called daily.io. Uh, and it's like a mood tracker. And the last, I think the last four days I've rated my days like the highest that it can go. And the rest of the week is going to be very decisive. I have two potential jobs and, um, a podcast interview with Iona Holloway, author of ghost, why perfect women shrink. And I'm recording that tomorrow episode should be out on Friday. And then next week, next week I have this guy, Mr. Javon McCormick coming on. So yeah, I'm excited to have two more guests coming up. It's been a while since I've had guests on the podcast. Glad that I had some good days to re-energize and just sort of be prepared for the next few days and i uh i think that's gonna be it for for vlog number two hope you enjoyed and uh i hope tomorrow is a good day for everyone